hi everyone welcome back to my channel yes today is all about locks 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 and it's been a while since i posted a video on my locks journey or locks generally and i'm here to give you a kind of update lessons i've learned some things i'm not sure i want to try again and a major update like a big step i've taken an image of this anyways so first of all my hair as at now would be two years in august this is this is april may june july august so we are four months to two years <laughs> and it's been quite a while how i started i could get a picture here and this is how it is going i can say that i have no regrets whatsoever now Personally, I love dynamism. Dynamism, like just style, difference. Today you're like this, tomorrow you're like that. And because of that, I decided to add extensions to my hair, style it in different ways. <clears throat> you know, put stuff, just do different things. <laughs> wow, just very recently. I fixed on my hair like I actually did a full fixing of a weave on like it was my normal hair and I weaved it and stuff like that so first of all that's what I would like you to know if you're considering locking your hair you can do anything you want with your locks anything the only thing you cannot do is packing gel and there's a way you can even do packing gel which is one of the major things I even did with my hair just style it and fix so this recent one I can't remember the last time I fixed my full hair like that and I decided okay dynamism let me fix and I added this extension to my hair. First of all, my style is ah, oh god, I don't know what happened. She went to use blue thread on my hair, but that's just another that's some maybe it was a mistake. <laughs> I'll just leave that. And the heat, if you're in Lagos, what even made me do like the heat? I was preparing to use this hair scratcher to you know just you know touch it up here and there once in a while instead of <laughs> the normal heating of head. But I didn't get the hair scratcher. But this one, that hair scratcher, even if I had gotten, was not going to be. Ah, oh, my goodness. So by the time yesterday night, I asked my friend to remove it. My sister. She did. And as she was removing it, I was literally itching. And I was feeling goosebumps all over my body. Like, oh, I'm not sure I want to do this again. So that's one major thing. I'm not sure I'm going to really fix, like, full fixage on my hair. Like, full wave on. I prefer this. This makes me feel myself like I am me. There is air flowing. I can style this. That's the dynamism in looks. I, I feel like ah, I beg. I don't want to think I want to go through all of that anymore. <laughs> Another thing I noticed eh, is that because of all those fixing, 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 my hair cut, cut, cut. Because, of course, you have to use blade to take out the thread to remove the extensions. So, the first time I actually fixed and asked my husband to please help me remove my extension, these three mains went away. Like, <laughs> I kept it because it's been over six months plus now that that happened. And these three mains just came out, came out because of the blade. <laughs> and just yesterday, this one also came out as careful as these people were like if you know my husband if you notice know people they were really really careful but it still came out so that's one corn if you're fixing you know that using bleed is going to rip might rip one or two or more of your veins literally and there's almost okay well there's something you can do about it we can always fix it back i'm keeping this because i might um see how i can attach it back to those end that was cut off but it's a major con another thing i did with this and um, kuroba because there's this other style i also did like um they call it bantu knot the recent bantu knot i did as careful i did it myself and as careful as i was with making sure it was not pulling too much it still pulled a, a, a the, the front of my hair now i'm going to pull this one out to show you what i mean now do you see this thinning this is what we call thinning in locks Normally, it, it has been a little consistent though, fat, slim, but at least between here and here, not bad. But you see this place? This is caused by my Bantu knot recently. 
and this is what happens when you pull 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 or when you interlock too often when you interlock too often so you just have that thing in. and there's another second thing i think i i'm going to avoid so the first i said i'm going to try as much as possible to avoid attaching extensions on my hair if i want to do that dynamic thing i would use you know they are with their wig extensions in quotes so i'll just rather use a wig if it is going to be a full wig that's if there's no heat i'll use a full wig and that's all just braid i mean mat my hair backwards and use that and if it will be a kind of packing gel type of thing i would just rather use that wig one that you can put and when you're back home you can remove no need for blade because i don't want to lose my mains anymore <laughs> so that's one the second thing i said i would try to avoid as much as possible is pulling my hair so oh goodness i just remembered another one so pulling my hair with braids and maybe interlocking too often i don't want to so right now you have noticed the hair is quite rough but not so rough because i mean if you add all of those hair is them gel and moisturizer and you ugh, there's there are ways we style this thing and it to look to look nice if i didn't tell you you would not really know that i've not really interlocked my hair in a long time and in a long time i mean over six to almost eight weeks now maybe seven weeks which is good it's better once in six weeks once in eight weeks depending on how um old your hair is the if your hair is still young it's better to do it maybe in five weeks five weeks five weeks but if your hair is getting older you can leave it longer so the third thing i am going to avoid is braiding my hair ah come closer when i'm braiding you see these other manes that i used initially I have washed this once, but before I washed them, I wish you could see it closely. I doubt it. You know, normally if you braid your hair, you will see um this whitish thing. Even normally if you just knot your hair at the base, there are whitish sediments that just get there in a week. Like in just one week, it's there already. And normally if you just had loose hair, you comb it out and that's all. But for with and on locks, it settles there and it's difficult to come out. When I started my locks earlier, I braided more often. Not so often, often like that, but at least I braided and I noticed that it was difficult to take away. And it was becoming consistent in all the lower parts of my hair. Ah, no, 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 no. So I was not going to do that anymore. So that's under the third thing I'm, I'm not going to do to my hair anymore. So, for now, I think that is the major thing. And, um... Um, 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 yes, the last thing I would point out, which has helped me so far, is adding spray and, you know, stuff. Maybe I'll do another video on how to take care of your locks. So let's just say this video is things to avoid, <laughs> updates and things to avoid, like three things you want to avoid doing to your hair, to your locks, if you're on locks. So thank you so much if you have stayed to the end of this video. And the major updates that I have, ha, 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 is that I've decided to um also step into this locks business because even as at now i'm still struggling with whom to lock my hair like people find it difficult to find trustworthy people to lock their hair i don't know if it's just only me anyways but i think i would be interviewing more people on locks and i can carry you along others and that i video um idea to see how easy it is for people to find trustworthy locticians and other people's experiences with regular locticians who are not really trained, 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 like, trained, okay? So because I trained, I remember in my last video I mentioned I was going to train, I um, just decided, okay, it's good to also step into this so that you can, it will help me maintain my hair because I'm a loctician. At the same time, I could help others to maintain their locks and even start locks in a way that they would enjoy in the long run. So I decided to take... <laughs> a <laughs> step for that i made some cards and blah, 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 blah. so this is for you if you are on locks and you want to interlock your hair you don't really have any trustworthy person to do it or you've had experiences that are not really good like myself please contact me i could connect you and i could do it if you wish so and if there's something you really want to do eh, take that big step Right now, I don't know how this is going to work because I have children, I have this, but none of that, none of that is going to stop me. I know that this will work. Ah, enough talk. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. 
see you in my very next video.